I just got a new welder. So let's build something. Just the other day, my new welder showed up. I decided to pick up an AHP Welders Alpha TIG. This is the 203XI. And I ordered this like a month ago. And like everything, supply chain had delayed its arrival. But uh, I got it here just the other day and I actually did a little bit of unboxing as far as what was included in there. First out is our accessories box. We've got the uh, flex head torch. So, but got the flex head on it. It's not something I've ever had before. Looking forward to trying that. We've got a Nova pedal. Now this was one of the reasons that I was looking for a new TIG is that my old Razor Weld did not have that style of uh, pedal available. So I wanted something different with a little bit better programming. This is a, uh, a finger control still. So you can put this onto the torch head itself and still have the finger control, which is how I basically operated my last TIG. Got a new uh, regulator, which I did not know that I was getting. I thought I was gonna have to use my uh, old one still. Nice to know that I can take that regulator and it can go with the old welder. We've got our ground clamp and stick welder attachment. Now, I never used the stick welder <laughs> attachment on my old one. I don't plan to on this one either. Next, we've got our 220 to 110 adapter. I basically run mine on 110. Depending if you know my channel or not, you'll know that I mainly uh, work on welding RC cars. So most of my stuff is quite small, but I know this machine is capable of obviously much, much more. We've got our gas hookup. That is obviously a much larger machine than my previous little lunchbox size. So, uh, man, I don't know. Uh, maybe I could, with the size of bottle I have, might be able to build myself a bracket to uh, support that bottle, but move it back that couple of extra inches that I have there so that I can get the front of this welder to sit on there. Probably a unneeded but simple project just to have that look like it should be there. All right, so I've got everything uh, connected up front. I've got it on the electro-negative foot pedal control rather than the finger control. The gas hoses on this are <laughs> really nice compared to my old one. You know, they've got a, an actual thread on rather than a, a barbed nipple style. These are just, these hoses in general. Nice upgrade compared to what I had before. This will be the uh, first time to power this up though. Circuit breaker style flip on the back side. We'll fire up screen. So AC, DC, tongue, you know, TIG style. AC stick, DC stick. So I'm going to do DC. Almost everything I do is DC. I like that this machine is AC. I've, uh, someday I'll play with that. But for right now, I'm gonna kind of try and stick to what I know. But now that I've got it all set up here on my stand, I've got the uh, torch set up. The only thing I've changed out is I did go to a Furic gas lens here. This is the uh, BBW, and I believe I'm running this at around 35 CFH. That's really the only change that I've made to this. I really am liking the uh, Nova Flex Head torch though. That's a huge improvement. And this is my first TIG welder that has a proportional pedal, and I'm already loving that. Only, even though I've only uh, used it for like five or six joints so far. So. Today, I figured it's actually already kind of getting into the evening, but I decided I wanted to build something with it. I didn't really have anything that I needed to build right away, uh, but I had this NWSD build that I had been sitting on. I did this on a Friday night live where I took a stock RTR SCX-10 II Honcho and did a chassis swap with this scattergun chassis. It's got a TGH transfer case and it's got the uh, forward motor mount that comes with the chassis. So I had a honcho body on it, but I picked up a power wagon body today at the hobby shop and I figure I'm just gonna fab up 
something in the rear of this quick. Now, most of what I fabricate with is steel. However, I have been playing with titanium a little bit more and I kind of want to play with this welder a bit uh, with that setup as well. So I'm going to just fab up some sort of rear cage on this uh, out of titanium. I'm going to kind of dive into the fab of that. I'll show you some things here and there, but just a quick, you know, walk around what I'm using for fabrication beyond this new uh, 203 welder. My fab table is a pretty basic setup. It's a four foot by four foot quarter inch thick uh, steel top on some two by two square steel tube legs. I made this like five or six years ago. And on top, it needs some definite organization. Uh, this is a project for down the road, but uh, I've just kind of got things placed on there and it's, it's kind of tight to get all the way around it. So it's not all 100% usable, but a little six inch bench grinder, drill press, uh, some Milwaukee tools. I've got like the uh, three inch cutoff tool. This is a three inch cutoff tool that's got uh, a Harbor Freight air grinder adapted to it. You can buy this little setup on eBay. Uh, uh, impact driver, angle grinder, sander. That's the uh, Harbor Freight Bauer, like uh, what do you call these? Uh, quarter bands on a swag off-road table. I've got a foot control on it so that I have a nice little band saw setup pretty compact. I've got my over engineered tube notcher. If you've never seen that, I'm sure I'll use that today. And then just a little regular uh, combination sand bench vise and the scale metal supplies fixture table that I've got clamped in there. This will come on and off of here because my bender will go in this vise as well. A little sheet metal break here as well, but, uh, oh, and don't forget the, uh, what is this, a six or an eight inch? This is a six inch plate shear. So this is a super handy tool to have. I use that all the time and uh, really like that. As I mentioned, this is an RTR honcho underneath as far as links, axles, wheels, tires, uh, shocks, all of that go. Got the TGH transfer case and all that, stock electronics beyond it as far as what's in there. Oh, I do have a revolver sitting in there, but um, none of that's hooked up yet. I did buy this power wagon body and I got it trimmed up to sit super low, not exactly like a class two legal trim because it'll come way up the door when it's when it's all said and done. Shock towers kind of coming through the body itself. And then in the back, uh, I haven't come up with a design at all yet. I think I'm just gonna kind of throw something together and see how it looks. Uh, no planning is not necessarily my norm, but we're gonna roll with it. So see what we can get done. So I took a handful of hours and knocked out the cage on this truck here. Now again, this was a truck that I had, it was just kind of sitting around and needed a base to work on and this was a perfect use for it. Built up this titanium cage, this is all grade five titanium and really it just was something to build. I never real plan, it came up with a style that was good enough for what I was looking for and finished it off with some aluminum work in the bed. But really the goal was to get to use uh, the new Alpha TIG and I, I'm so happy that I picked up a new welder. The Having the foot pedal is obviously something that was new to me coming from my old TIG, which was all hand control. And the full range of the amperage was available on the very small dial on that TIG, which made it almost impossible to try and accurately add or remove amperage from the machine while I was using it. So. This being able to dial in my max amperage and then just use the pedal to vary that is a huge new world for me and something that I'm really enjoying. For the cost of this welder, I couldn't be happier. Looking forward to doing some more uh, tube work with this, you know, some steel since this I only used titanium this time, but uh, 
Obviously, steel is probably the thing that I use the most. Using that Fury Cup, also a nice little uh, piece. Glad I added that. You know, it's uh, it on its own is a different experience than what I had been used to using before. But I think that it was pretty clear that the new machine was uh, far and above the, the biggest improvement to my setup. Now, if you're used to watching my channel and for the reason of RCs, don't let a TIG be something that is completely outside of your realm of, of use. You know, picking I picked it up only for RC when I got my first machines and uh, now for this one. It can seem a little expensive at first, but what you can do with a tool like this is absolutely worth that investment. I'm running this on standard 110. It's just a great machine, especially for the money. I, but now I need to decide the next rig to build up. A good problem to have, something I'm really looking forward to, and you'll definitely see more of that new welder here in the future. So thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. Something a little bit different than the normal video I know, but hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.